Yeah, that's good. It's hey guys, what up? Just got back from the store. I haven't made a grocery video in a long time, so I figured I'd just show you guys what I got today. And um, like two days before, I think. All right, first off, I gotta show you guys my, my Christmas present. Let me just grab the camera. Look at this right here, I got a juicer. Props to uh, Baby Mama's mom. I didn't put the camera on. Dang. Show me to put on video because her hair is fucked up. But it's cool. Alright, guys, this is the best thing since, I don't know, since Tim 3D. Look here, let me show you guys how this thing works. Matter of fact, I just wait, I wait till I make a, um, some, some, some fruit juice. Show you guys how it works. It's really powerful, really fast. And you'd be amazed at how much, um, how much juice you get out of each, each press. So, because of that, it's been like my, my favorite toy since Christmas. I bought a lot of fruits. I got apples. Um, I just throw them in there, make apple juice. I have pineapple. Uh, got me some pears. My favorite fruit actually, next to pineapple. Got me some, um, got me some oranges. Usually I mix everything up in just one big, you know, bowl of juice. Or if I'm lazy, I just, you know, grab a few apples, throw them in there. It's really good. It allows me to get all my fruits in. And even vegetables. You can put vegetables in it too. Like carrots and stuff like that. As far as food, I just got me um, some peanuts to eat in the morning for the carb back loading thing. You know, my fats. Uh, and I got me a lot of carbs. Got me some mac and cheese. Uh, like I said, I'm doing a lot of full body workouts, so I need as many carbs as possible. Sometimes... It's not unusual to see me eat five to six hundred grams of carbs a day. So, if I don't feel like making rice, oh, by the way, speaking of rice, I got me jasmine rice. It's, it's, it's already going. For you rice lovers out there, this is the best rice on earth. Jasmine rice, or basmati rice. Very expensive, but it's really good. So, I got my rice with my carbs, plus the fruits, plus the, um, the mac and cheese, plus the pasta. No need, no need to show you guys that. I also got a lot of cereal. If you look up there, got me a lot of cereal. Uh, fast carbs, uh, simple carbs, complex carbs, I don't care. I just eat a lot of carbs nowadays for this bar. By the way, I'm 192, meaning, you know, my full body workouts are really working because I'm going to make a video explaining that. When you do full body workouts, you're, you drain from head to toe. So when you do eat, your body's like a sponge and it just sucks up all the nutrients and along with your vitamins your protein and stuff like that so as opposed to me doing like back in the days i would do splits chest and triceps and stuff like that when i would come back and eat all the food or the nutrients will only go to my chest and triceps. but now since i do full body workouts when i come back and i eat most of that food goes to my entire body so my body soaks up and holds on to nutrients more than before you know your body only uses what it needs the rest it flushes it out so if you make your body need more nutrients it'll be able to hold on to more nutrients and like I said, since I started doing the full body workout thing, I put on so much weight, it's ridiculous. Um, right now I'm at 192, and I'm still going up. So you would think, oh, full body workouts would drain you out, you lose weight. No, you actually gain weight if you, you know, eating a lot, because like I said, your body's like a sponge. Um, what else? I got me some water. I need to show you guys that. Make sure you drink a lot of water when you're doing FBW. A lot of fruits, a lot of veggies. I got me some chicken. Some Matisse chicken, just in case I don't feel like cooking, which is like now. Uh, had some fish. I think I'm running out of fish. Yeah, I just finished it last night. And I got vegetables, okra, corn. So it's the same shit. Not really changed. Only difference is that I'm getting a lot more carbs. Also, I ran out of protein, so um, I went and bought. Body Fortress, because I'm out of this shit that Simon sent me. I'm out of this. Uh, and I also have this, but Simon also sent me, so I brought this just in case. What else I got? Uh, yeah, that's about it. So that's what I'm doing right now as far as foods. I'm focusing on carbs, my protein, my fruits, and of course my fiber so my eyes don't bleed. And... Yeah. Oh, also, yeah, I forgot. 
Post workout, I gotta get a lot of carbs in, so I try to go for, you know, super sugars. Powerade, my favorite. Hansa is more of a Gatorade type of guy, and I'm more of a Powerade type of guy. Oh, what's the chunk of milk? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I also got milk. And, uh, and chocolate milk. Chocolate milk is really good for post workout recovery foods, full of sugars and calories. So yeah, post-workout, you don't want to really eat a lot of rice and potatoes because post-workout, you already know, your, your vessels are dilated, your body's, you know, ready to absorb the nutrients. If you eat rice and potatoes, even though they digest fast, it's not as fast to make it to your bloodstream in time. You know, it's, it's going to make it to your bloodstream at first, but not all of it. So post-workout, I try to focus on liquid foods until later on at night when I start eating, you know, potatoes and stuff like that. But yeah, that's about it. Hope that helps. Oh, I got beef too. Team 3D. Like the video. Hey guys, I also forgot to show you what I got at Walmart. Uh, it's a double feature, 300 and Troy, all in one disc for only 6 bucks. So, look to start some boosts out there.